Most of the time, if you hear hoofbeats and a neigh, you turn around and there's a horse. Occasionally, it's a zebra. Hi, my name is Catherine Sayo, and I'm the co-director of the Lipedema Project. And I'm here today with my very dear friend and collaborator from Harvard Medical School, Dr. Erez Diane. We're here to make an announcement about two very exciting projects that we've worked on that are designed to raise awareness in the medical community as well as for those of us who have lipedema. Lipedema is a disease that affects an estimated 11% of women in the United States. That means that about 17 million women in the United States are affected by this disease. However, despite the prevalence of lipedema, many clinicians don't understand what lipedema is and they don't know how to diagnose it or how to treat it. We have gathered a worldwide faculty who are experts in lipedema and really have put together what we believe is seminal work to educate clinicians in the United States and worldwide on how to identify lipedema, how to diagnose it, and how to treat it. It will be available as an ebook as well as an audiobook on the lipedemaproject.org site. We are very excited to have Dr. Mark Smith and Dr. Catherine Sayo co-directors of the Lipedema Project presenting at our symposium. The Harvard Lymphedema Symposium is a unique opportunity to gather collaborators and researchers from the lymphedema world and from the lipedema world in one place. We believe that these diseases are related and it is a unique opportunity to learn more about how to diagnose and treat patients. The symposium will be streamed worldwide through the Lymphatic Education and Research Network for patients and clinicians to learn from. All of us at the Lymphatic Education and Research Network are delighted to be partnering with the Lipedema Project and the Harvard Lipedema Symposium. This is a brilliant opportunity for us to be able to reach out to clinicians to raise awareness about lymphatic diseases and to pave the way for the treatments and cures of tomorrow which patients expect and demand. Together, we will make lymphatic diseases a global priority.